What's up guys, this video is only for people who have liked and subscribed, so if you haven't done those things, stop watching. Stop watching this video right now. Subscribers only. Jared Leto is basically everything Corey Feldman wishes that he was. He's a gorgeous human being who can sing, and he's a talented actor. That, that, that pretty much sums it up. Now, sure, he's fallen short on a couple of roles. But for the most part, pretty, pretty talented man, you know? And yet somehow he comes off as one of the cringiest guys in the world. And he has what I like to call hot boy syndrome, where when you're just such a gorgeous, beautiful human being that people let you say, do, and act however you want, and there's little to no repercussions. Even though the odds were stacked incredibly in Jared Leto's favor, in terms of being a beautiful, talented human being, he comes off as one of the hardest to watch, cringiest people I've ever laid my eyes on. And there's plenty of videos that make me want to rip my eyeballs out and shove them inside of my ear holes just to block the sound. You know what I mean? Is that too harsh? <laughs> Here's one example, right? This video is called Jared Leto acting like a douchebag. <laughs> We're not just gonna take this title verbatim. Let's look into it a bit, right? Let's form our own opinions. Let's see the evidence laid out and see whether or not we agree with that title. Does anybody want to get really, really, really fucking crazy? I gotta say, this is one of the best crowds we've ever seen down here on the floor. Let's get really fucking crazy. Acting like he's Slipknot? Marilyn Manson? Acting like he's in Pantera? <laughs> you guys are the most insane people I've ever met. This is the best concert we've ever done. But I want you people to get a little nuts with us, okay? Are you ready up there? On the count of three, we're gonna jump and we're gonna jump high. Let me see what you got. One, two, one, two, three, jump! Wait a second. Hold on. Hey, buddy. Hey, yo, you, with your fingers in your chin beard, what are you sitting on your fucking ass for? Seems aggressive. Seems a little bit aggressive. Just berating one of your fans because he's not rocking out the way you want him to rock out. Just lifts up his glasses to make fun of this guy who's definitely financially supporting him and paid for his concert. <laughs> Look at that haircut. Going for the old Sonic the Hedgehog mullet, and I respect it. I respect it. Now, as for the garbage bag that he's wearing, why does he look like every white family's alcoholic auntie? <laughs> How come there's so much protection for the wrist, but the fingers are fully exposed? That shawl that he's wearing just looks like an absolute musical ghost. Rock and roll specter. <laughs> looks like a fucking Dementor that decided he wanted to start a rock band. What are you wearing, dude? Also, sunglasses? That's how we know he's cool. That's how we know he's rad. If you want to be cool, all you gotta do is wear sunglasses indoors, dude. That's it. And that's all. This is the 30 Seconds to Mars show, okay? If you can stand up, you better be up off your fucking ass right now, you hear me? Oh man, the plot twist, if that guy was in a wheelchair and Jared Leto's just like fucking get up or I won't fucking play the music that all these other people paid for. Also just like calling out one single fan just knowing that the entire audience is gonna turn on this one guy. Whoever this guy is sitting down is gonna have to fight off what looks to be maybe 3,000 14 year old girls. <laughs> Does he understand what I'm saying to him right now? No, don't look behind you, I'm looking at you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Oh, thank you very much. Are you ready? One of the moments that I found very funny is when he returned from his cult in the desert. Oh yeah, he has a cult, guys. <laughs> he actually has a cult. He's called it a cult. 
and that's just what it is it's not even up for debate back in march 16th of 2020 when you know the pandemic was a fairly new thing he actually came out with this tweet that said wow 12 days ago i began a silent meditation in the desert we were totally isolated no phone no communication etc we had no idea what was happening outside of the facility which i mean facility is the creepiest word you could have used for that obviously of course it is <laughs> of course you would call it a facility dude not like a retreat not a vacation it's a facility he went on to say walked out yesterday into a very different world one that's been changed forever mind-blowing to say the least i'm getting messages from my friends and my family all around the globe catching up on what's going on and it's like, I'm not sure if anything exemplifies more the fact that he's just so disconnected. He was literally disconnected at this point. Meditating in the fucking desert, <laughs> wearing, wearing like all white, like Jesus clothing. He has something called Mars Island. It's basically Firefest, <laughs> but with like all these ridiculous packages that like allow you these different inclusivities for ridiculous prices. So there's the three nights all inclusive. That's the beginners like stargazer pack. Payment of $1,649. Let's learn more about it. Three night all inclusive festival, including two full length concerts by 30 seconds to Mars, as well as community and wellness focused activities. Stay in air conditioned bell tents that accommodate four guests. I like how they put the number four in brackets as if that was gonna confuse people. <laughs> and have access to shared modern facilities, including showers and bathrooms, which are conveniently located near each campsite. So you can pay $1,600 and go camping and see a concert. What a steal, dude. What an absolute steal. See some of these other ones. The Adventurer Package, three nights, all inclusive. $2,749. Let's see what that gets you. Three night, all inclusive festival, including two full length concerts by 30 seconds to Mars, as well as community and wellness focused activities. So far, exactly the same. Stay in air conditioned forest lodges at the South Camp that accommodate four adventure package holders and have shared in suite bathroom and shower facilities. So for like 1,000 extra dollars, instead of a tent, you get a lodge and the bathroom is closer. <laughs> what a bargain, absolute bargain. Look at these extras too. Early entry is an additional $549. You can get a tattoo for an additional $99, which is so annoying. Call it 100. I hate these marketing tactics. Holistic massage is plus $90, and a deep tissue massage, which is totally different than a holistic massage, we all know that, is $95. So it's up to you if you wanna pay way more or not. <laughs> Let's really ramp it up though. Here's the Wanderer package, three nights all inclusive. For $4,000, sorry, $4,039. Well, this must be, you must be getting a blowjob from the man himself. You must get to run a train on the entire 30 Seconds to Mars band for that price. Let's check it out. Three night, all inclusive festival, including two full length concerts by 30 Seconds to Mars, as well as community and wellness focused activities. Stay in air conditioned forest lodges in the West Camp that accommodate two package holders and have a shared ensuite bathroom and shower facilities. So it's exactly the same as the last package that we looked at, except it accommodates less people. I don't understand that at all. It's the exact same. It's a weird thing that happens when you start paying like really big money for things where you kind of reach like diminishing returns. Like things get so expensive that they're actually, they actually become shittier. <laughs> it's like when people pay like ridiculous prices to eat bottom feeders from the ocean. Let's see what else there is. Whoo, VIP packages? You can do four nights. That's a whole, that's a whole extra night, dude. For one small payment. 
of $7,149. Let's learn more about that. That's the Daydreamer package. Oh, this one's different. Luxury awaits on the island with the Daydreamer package. This VIP package is located in the sun lodges that are completely weatherproof, lockable, and fully furnished. All I'm getting from that is that all the other things that we learned about are not weatherproof, you can't lock them, and there's no furniture. <laughs> Available for two package holders with either single or double bed configuration. Sun lodges are set inland in their own camp close to the kitchen and pool area, providing convenient and exclusive access to the weekend festivities. Blah, blah, blah. The rest of it's the same. So for like three thousand extra dollars on top of the already highest paying package you can get the vip package where it won't rain on you plus you're closer to the kitchen and the pool dude what are you gonna fucking walk there like a like a some poor fucking chump not a chance you're a vip luxury awaits i'm just shocked that for this price i'm not seeing an additional add-on of like getting sucked off by the man himself the gorgeous angel <laughs> the, go the gorgeous angel jared leto you know that's crazy there's one more vip package called the phoenix package they can't even tell you what it's worth dude they gotta tell you in person like over the phone you gotta contact them for the pricing which means that it's obviously so ridiculous they knew they couldn't just put it out there oh ooh. ooh. This one's ultimate luxury awaits on Mars Island with the Phoenix package. This VIP package is located in the private sun lodges that are completely weatherproof, lockable, fully furnished with a private ensuite bathroom and shower. Sun lodges are set inland on their own camp close to the kitchen and pool area. So it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. One more thing about Jared Leto being a hot boy is that he's constantly using his sexual prowess to get ahead. He thinks that every girl wants to fuck him. And to be completely honest, he's probably right most of the time. This is Jared Leto flirting. <laughs> what turns me on? I would like to answer that by asking a question. What doesn't turn me on? For a long time, can I squeeze your mic? <laughs> Gross, dude. Grossing me out. It's like, fucking everything turns me on, dude. When I slide my shawl on in the morning, and I feel that silk slide up my arm, <laughs> I'll be damned if I don't come in my pants. <laughs> yeah, You're quite I... beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I just tell the truth. Well, you have beautiful eyes. I'll have you know. He's not even good at flirting. Like, he just goes, you have beautiful eyes. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. And then the women are sliding out of their seats, dude. <laughs> Just moisture everywhere, you know? So now tell me, what's it like to tour as brothers? What's that like? <laughs> dude, tell me that that's not the laugh he uses in the Joker. Tell me it's not the exact fucking same. He's been working on it forever, dude. You guys have good tour stories. The problem isn't brothers, the problem is people. Yes. There are too many human beings on the planet, and we've got to do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <clears throat> yes, this is serious here. Okay, so we get a little bit of the Joker mindset that he's got. A little bit nihilistic. There's too many people on the earth. We gotta figure it out. Followed by maybe the first lip bite? The first like TikTok e-boy lip bite. Too many people on the planet. We gotta, we've got to do something about that. It's not as hot when I do it. Anyways, there you go, guys. Jared Leto's always been the Joker, and therefore he makes the best Joker. He's been, he was the best. You didn't even know it. You didn't even know that he was actually the best rendition of the Joker. Some people are like, no, it was Heath Ledger. Some people are like Joaquin Phoenix, throwing, you know, Jack Nicholson into the mix. But you're all fucking wrong, dude. Jared Leto's been the Joker the whole time. That's why he acts like a fucking psychopath. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Um, if there's anything you guys want me to check out, go ahead and drop names of the videos down in the comments below. 
Uh, don't leave me links. I don't want to click on your filthy links. You know what I mean? But you know, if there's something that you think would be funny for me to review, go ahead and let me know about it. Go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, you'll be notified next time I upload. And hopefully next time when I upload, you guys will be ready to get freaking crazy, dude. Stand up. Don't sit down and watch. <laughs> Don't sit down and watch my videos. You better be standing. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Peace out, guys. What's your sign? Do you know? Leo. Really? What are you? Hot. Hot. That's nice. Let me guess. Stegosaurus. You really? Yeah. Sagi? No. What? Pisces. I think it's Stegosaurus. Yeah. You're Pisces? We're perfect together.